it gives us demand and it gives us supply. It says how much revenue is raised by an ad valerum tax of 0.07 on sales. And then it clarifies and says the tax inclusive price paid by consumers is one plus 0.07 times the price received by suppliers. So we need to rewrite that. PC, the price paid by consumers, is equal to 1.07 PS, the price received by suppliers. So we know that we're gonna set demand equal to supply to solve, that's how we always solve, but we know that we can plug in PC for 1.07 PS. Now notice that the demand is on the left side here. So this left side, that's the consumer side, which is why we have PC there. Supply is on the right side, which is why we have PS over there. So that is important, and now when we're gonna plug in PC in terms of PS, we need to plug that into the demand function. That was, that was crucial. So we're gonna plug in 1.07 PS for PC, and now we're gonna solve for PS. We do this, and we see that PS is equal to 9.17. So now we can solve for PC, because we know it's just 1.07 times that, and in this case, that's 9.81. So how much was the tax? Well, 9.81 minus 9.17, we see that there's a 64 cent tax per unit. So we know that the price that consumers pay is 9.81 and the tax is 0.64. Now you could use a couple, of, you could solve this a couple of ways. So there's not necessarily one right way, but I'm gonna use the price that the consumers pay and I'm gonna plug it into the demand function. You could have used the price that suppliers get and you could plug it into the supply function. You'll get the same answer but I've chosen to use the price that consumers pay and I plug it into the demand function. And I get that the quantity demanded is equal to 235. So what's my tax revenue? Well, it's how many units I sold times the tax uh, per unit, which is 64 cent. In this case, it's 151.